We are going to start constructing our wheel, but first let's create a block from the tread. Select the tread, then choose Create Block from the Format menu. Let's name the block Tread and be sure to check Insert at Current Location. Now it's time to make some copies. Let's switch to a front view and back up a bit. Now set Work Plane to Active View, switch to an isometric view, make the work plane visible, and choose Edit Current Work Plane from the pop-up menu. Move the work plane so that it will split the tread in half by snapping it to the extents of the tread. Let's save this work plane in the Design Director so we can use it later. Let's name it Wheel Center. Now switch to a front view. Next, tilt the camera a bit and draw a 20 inch line at a 270 degree angle snapping to the middle of the bottom edge of the tread. This will assist us in making copies of the tread. Now select the tread and choose Radial Copy. Snap to the end of the line for the radius of the copy. Tab into the Sets field, type in 16, then hit Enter. You should now have 16 treads total. Next we are going to create the spokes for the wheel. Let's start with the base plate. Switch to an isometric view, then adjust the camera so you can see the bottom edges of the original tread. Now choose Work Plane by Facet and select one of the faces opposite of the tread. Now draw a box, starting with the inside corners of the tread object, and enter a height of negative one half inch. Now we are going to start drawing the spokes. Choose Work Plane by Facet, then select the top of the base plate. Now draw a one inch circle in the center of the base plate using the center of extent snap. Choose Quick Pull, grab the circle, and pull it out 10 inches. Now let's create a blend. The blend will be uneven, so we will want to first create a hold line. Choose Rotated Ellipse, then snap to the center of the base plate. Input a major radius of 6, an angle of 270, and a minor radius of 3. Choose the Blend tool and select the plate. Then right click and choose the Hold Line Blend option. Next, select the edge where the spokes meet the plate and choose Finish. Now select the ellipse as the hold line. Now that we have the blend, we will want to create a single copy of this object. Switch to a front view and change the work plane to Wheel Center. Now select the spoke and choose Radio Copy. Tab into Sets, Input 2, and hit Enter. Define the center as the end of the line we used to make the previous copy. Then snap to the middle of one of the adjacent treads to complete the operation. Now that we have two spokes, let's connect them using a face-to-face -face loft. Adjust the camera so that the ends of both spokes are visible. Choose face-to-face -face loft, then select the facets at the end of each spoke. A loft should now connect the spokes of the wheel. We have more to add to the spokes, but first we need to create some more construction lines. Switch back to the front view. Now draw a line from the center of extents of the second spokes tread to the end of the previously drawn construction line. Now draw a line, bisecting the angle of the two other lines, snapping the endpoint to the spokes using Nearest on Graphic. Next, shorten the length of the line using the Line Length tool, again using the Nearest on Graphic snap. Now draw a 1 inch circle, snapping the center to the midpoint of the line, and draw another circle with a half inch radius concentric to the previous circle. Next, choose the Simple Extrude tool, activate Double Sided Extrude in Compound Profile. Select both circles, then input a value of 2 inches into the height field and hit enter. Now choose 3D Add and select the spokes, then the newly created cylinder. Next we will blend the edges. Choose Fillet Edges and enter 0.5 inches into the radius field, then select the edges where the spokes and the cylinder meet, clicking the finish flag to complete this operation. Now select the object again with the Fillet Edges tool still active. Enter a quarter inch for the radius and select the top and bottom outside edges clicking Finish to complete. Let's create a block from the spokes and make some copies. Select the part, then choose Create Blocks from the Format menu. Let's name the block Spokes, and be sure to insert a current location. With the part selected, choose Radial Copy. Select the endpoint of our favorite construction line, then tab into the inspector bar, input 8 for sets and 45 for angle, then hit Enter. That's about it for today. In our next video, we will continue work on the hubs.